Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody just checking into the energy, seeing what spirit wants you to know, okay? Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much everyone. I, you know, honestly, I turn on the camera and this big huge smile comes on my face, you guys. I don't know. It's your energy, okay? You're feeling really good. Um, I love this energy that you guys are in. Um, but anyway, thank you everyone for putting a smile on my face today. <laughs> um, thank you for this bubbly energy that I'm picking up from you, okay? Um, thank you to everyone, all of my subscribers, everybody new here. You guys rock. All right, so Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective? Yeah, whoever I'm reading for, you're, you've had a great weekend. You're in a good mood. The sun is shining. You feel happy and free. Um, oh, but there's an emperor here whose heart is breaking. I feel like this person abused their power in some way, okay? I feel like um, this could have been a narcissist. It could have been um, someone who is very controlling. This could also be um, maybe the father of your children. Um, this is, can, has a tendency to be like a boss or, or father figure, okay? So take it how it resonates with you. But they're feeling heartbroken. They want to get back together, okay? They want you back or they want to come back home. I'm hearing something about coming back home. Yeah, but this person is, they've been pretending. I keep getting that song, but I don't know who sings it. Um, I'm going to have to look it up. Um, but yeah, um, they've been pretending. They've been keeping their back turned. Uh, they, they're they not showing how they feel. If anything, this person is kind of like, you know, in that um, defiant kind of energy, right? Like, oh, okay, so I can't have you back. Well, fine. You know what I mean? Or you're not going to chase me. I can't control you. Well, fine then. <laughs> you know, it's like that. And I feel like you're fine with that. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, yeah, you're, I feel like you're upgrading, you're elevating. Yeah, see, spirit is like, hey, listen, you kept your back turned on the collective for possibly up to three years for some of you or longer, okay? Um, and spirit is like, we tried to give you this message. We tried to tell you to go in with an apology and you never did. We've seen every, every controlling thing you've done to the collective, all of your abuse of your power, thinking that you're, um, thinking that this is some kind of game and it's not. This is what spirit is telling this person. We tried to lead you. We tried to lead you, but, um, you thought you were more powerful. You thought you were more powerful than God and everyone else. So now we're making this judgment call. Okay. Now um, the collective is like, you know what? Forget it. And this person is over here being angry. I feel like they're angry and very whiny. Angry at the divine. Angry at you. Um, yeah, it's kind of like they're having a little temper tantrum. That's what it sort of feels like to me is that they're having a temper tantrum. But spirit is like, we gave you so many chances. Every day was an opportunity for you to make this right, and you didn't. So now the collective is being led to move forward. Now the collective is having a victory. Okay? This, this emperor thought that they can control you, control the outcome. They thought they could be defiant to the, to the divine and what spirit wanted them to do. They knew they were supposed to come in and do the right thing by you, but they didn't. They didn't. They wanted to stand in their ego. They wanted you to chase after them. They, you know, and you're like, I'm done with this. You're moving forward. The chariot is spiritually led and protected as well. You could be a cancer, but I just feel like you're determined to move on now. You're having this victory. You're not letting this person drag you through a battle, okay? Love should not feel that way all the time. Love shouldn't keep you in stagnancy 
um, where you hear nothing from someone. Love doesn't play little head games with you either to try to make you chase after them. This person is all up in their ego and they thought they were bigger than God. Okay? I feel like they treated the, the divine like a joke and they treated you like they could control you somehow, but they can't, especially not now that you're in your chariot. No, they, they have no control. You're actually an empress, emperor energy. And this person is, a, they're, I feel like they're a narcissistic energy. Okay, now they're all sad and upset with, with the divine because they're losing you and they can't control you anymore. But spirit's like, we warned you, we warned you. But we warned you about this. We told you. Yep, you're not speaking to this person anymore. Um, I, you've been absolutely silent. Okay, they can't stand that either. Like, when are you going to talk to them? When are you going to pay attention to them? Them, 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 them. Like, it's me, 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 me with, with this person. Okay? But they've shown you nothing. They've kept their back turned. I feel like they were expecting you to come to them. Moha, you're going in the opposite direction. You're being spiritually led forward. Um, you, spirit wants you to live a life of peace, harmony, and be loved. They don't want you to sit in this pain anymore. It could have been years that you um, were thinking that this person um, was going to come towards you and do the right thing. No. So you're done. You're done. You, you're graduating from this last cycle. You're done with the stagnancy. This is a lot of forward movement. You're keeping your moves hidden, even though you may have some kind of public platform. You're not saying anything about your future plans or who you're with or who you're talking to. Okay? You're moving on very quietly, keeping your moves hidden not speaking to this person and they're under judgment they're getting karma they could be getting nightmares about this they're stuck in their head about you okay they're not gonna get another chance either and i feel like they're stuck in their head about you becoming very abundant stable possibly even in the spotlight some kind of stardom here maybe okay this is stressing them out they don't like that. You're succeeding. You're doing better without them. See, you don't need them to feed your ego. Do you know what I'm saying? You're confident. You're confident and um, courageous all on your own. Um, this person needed your energy to feed them. Now they're feeling very weak. They're being told there's no right. They have no right to complain about what you're doing. They did this. This is the consequences of how they treated you. Okay? So they're really stressed out. You could be um, planning a house move here as well. I mean, this is a lot of forward movement for you very quickly. Um, this is climbing to the top, right? Of your skill set or whatever it is that you're do that you do, I feel like you you're getting job a job promotion or an advancement somehow. You know, this is you getting a lot of opportunities and money. Okay, in this really strong energy, and this person, I feel like they're about to hit rock bottom. They got three pentacles here. This person, um, they could be jealous of what you do for work. You could have an online business. Okay? You could be doing anything. Um, I feel like you've started a platform and it's grown to a success. And this person's over here maybe working even up to three jobs to try to make ends meet. And they still have too many financial burdens. They could have... Um, they could have been very materialistic, really superficial, lived beyond their means. This could be somebody who likes to have their big toys, you know, because they like to feed that ego, right? 
They can't afford that stuff anymore. Now people too, people are starting to turn on this person. The things that they've said and done to you is being questioned in the background. Okay, people are onto this person as a controlling narcissist. Maybe even a liar. If they lied about you, they're being called out on that. If they tried to control you, they're being called out on that. If they treated you unfairly, people are calling them out on that too. It's all backfiring on them now because now they're getting their karma. Okay, spirit moves you out of the way clearly so this person can get everything back on them that they deserve. Okay. Everything they try to do to you is coming back on this person and they're feeling defeated and stuck because now, you know, I mean, you fed their ego, you're crushing their ego and they're, they kind of have to look down at themselves and say, well, what's left? I, I feel like all they had was their ego because they don't have much else. They don't have a whole lot of money. They may not even have a decent job. They, they, they're going to lose their friends. They're going to lose their credibility, respect from other people. As soon as this person loses respect from others, it's done. Their ego was the only thing they had um, that protected them. And without people's respect, no one's feeding their ego. They're making this person feel small. But you're moving on in all of this strength. Okay, strength, determination, freedom, success. And I feel like they can't stand it. They're, they're like losing the foothold in like every area of their life. Okay, this person may have once have been very financially stable. Not anymore. That their money's disappearing or they're spending it all or they overspent. You know, um, they reveled in the fact that other people respected them, respected what they said, listened to what they said, believed the lies, that kind of thing. People aren't respecting them anymore. People are like turning on this person now. Okay, and there goes their ego. And now they're left with, I mean, this is person's being stripped of kind of everything. Yeah, they're being stripped of everything you know spirit will let them have two pentacles that's being broke you know um spirit is taking away all the people that listen to them um respected them they'll only have themselves and god spirit is bringing this person down to rock bottom so that they can listen to the divine and build themselves back up the right way. Okay, that's pretty much what this is. Spirit is stripping them of everything so that they go to the divine. Okay. Yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like you're about to get someone new. All right, because this person is just now starting their work. Um, I feel like spirit is sending you in somebody new, okay? Yes, new love is coming in collective. <laughs> you know, that's pretty apparent. New love is coming in, okay? This five is a change, a change in your love life. A big change because you're about to get somebody who's going to be honest and real with you. Possibly down to earth, right? Um, you know, like um, somebody who's not like thinking they're above everyone else, okay? This person's going to, this new person, they're going to consider you as an equal. They're going to be respectful and considerate. Yeah, a huge change is coming in your love life, all right? And you're ready for it, okay? I feel like you're moving forward here and you're going to bump right in to somebody who's perfect for you. But keep all of this on the down low because this masculine, I feel like they're, they're going to want to possibly sabotage this new connection. But here it comes. Here it comes, collective. This is money. 
abundance, success, and love. Okay, it's coming in. A huge change is about to happen for you, so get ready. You could be a Cancer, heavy Cancer energy, Taurus, Aries, maybe Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul family. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.